All right. Good morning. I'm warming up to do some Olympic lifting, and uh, Christine, Tina, and Penny, I was going to show you a couple things with squat that I think will help you both. Um, I sent Tina a coach's eye video about her squat. The strength is there to do more weight. However, the form, we're, we're not quite there yet, and I'll show you why. I'm going to give you a couple examples, and one of the questions you had is the elbow positioning. One of the things, especially as you get lower bar, is I see people, especially with those really extreme close grips, they really push the elbows up. I know there's people that are a proponent for that, but my point is, is when you get in the hole, again, that lower bar position, your tendency already is to be forward. No matter, you're going to have more ergonomic lean than a high bar position. I'm not suggesting that you go to high bar. What I am suggesting is you make a couple of adjustments, even if you have to widen that grip just ever, even a finger width. Because what happens is when you have that lower position and you're here, the tendency is to get here. And it's there's two, it's twofold. One, if I'm more upright, look at I have more balance, I'm on my heels and I'm I'm clearly deeper. Whereas here I tend to be on my toes. So when you push out of the hole, you have this partial good morning going on. And by nature of leverage, a lot of people forget the hands and the upper back have play a vital role in the squat. So I always teach, imagine you're pushing back because we want to have that chest as high as possible because we want that bar path to be where it's over the midfoot and the heels pushing down and everything pushing up where you can drive the hips and the groin forward. You really want to open up that groin where it drives through. So what happens at the top though is you've got that super tight grip, elbows high, low bar, and when you go to squat you're already forward and this is what happens. No matter how much you push the knees out at this point, your, your chest is forward and way out over your toes and the weight is no longer on the midfoot leaning to the heels. Okay, So let me give you a demonstration of what I'm looking for and I'm going to try to use a, a close grip and it's really, this is a standard 45, this is a Texas bar so it's going to more mimic what you have in your commercial gym and I, Penny, I think you've got one. So this is super close for me. I can't get a little bar but I can kind of give you an idea. When you set up, uh, the question was, let me see if I can move this out and get to a lower bar position. Now, by now, a lot of people are like this. What I'm asking you to do is squeeze that fanny and push the groin. I'm still in a low bar position, but see where my groin is and look at where my elbows are. Now, instead of leading, dropping the chest and leading with the fanny, Make sure those toes are pointed out a little more. You're in position, lead with the knees. Now look at my back position over. So I'm forward where I can clearly get back on the heels and then drive that groin as I'm coming up and you're pushing. So hopefully that's a little bit better demonstration. Now I've been squatting <clears throat> for 30 plus years. So I've got a good idea of where my best leverage is. You're going to have to find your sweet spot. But just getting that grip in and tight is not is not the sole answer. You've got to find a point that gives you leverage and allows you to control that bar path. So hopefully that answers your questions and gives you something to work on. All right? Email or I'll post this and hopefully start some discussion. Have a good day.